Would you like your forms to fit more of your style? Let me show you how with the form designer. Hey Jetformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and as you can see, I'm already in one of my forms on my desktop. And like I mentioned, if you want to take your forms from this to be more on brand for you or for your business, the form designer is where all of that takes place. And the form designer is in the paint roller in the top right hand corner. So let's walk through each one of these aspects. So if I click on the form designer, we are automatically going to land in the colors section. So this is where you can change literally every color piece Piece of your form. So first we have color schemes. So if you just want to change all of the colors all at once, it kind of gives you these little templates that you can choose from. So maybe we want it to be yellow and orange so we can see both the page color and the form color changed. And then also down here, we can see that these changed as well. Maybe we want pink or maybe blue. Now, if none of those work for you, you can go back to the original. We can choose this X and it brings us back to no color anywhere. Now, if we have specific brand colors that we want to use, we can come down here and change them ourselves to be very specific. So all we need to do is click on the color. We can enter in our hex code, or we can use this right up here to choose exactly where we want that color to be. Or maybe you have a specific image or a pattern that you want to be in the background. We can choose that right here for page image. So let's do choose image. We can upload our own file. Maybe we've already uploaded images in the past. We can use those. Or if we have a URL from our website that we can pull from, we can do that as well, I'm going to go ahead and upload a file. And now that entire background is kind of that really pretty rainbow ombre. Now, if you want to change the form color, the form color is this entire middle piece that all of our elements sit in. So white is good for me, but again, we can change this to be anything that we want it to be right from in here. And if you want it again, same as our background, if you have an image that you want to use, maybe a, a simple pattern or a very specific color that you don't have that hex code to, and you have an image of it, you can do that right here. Next up is going to be your font colors right down here. So as you can see, everything is black, but if we want to change it over to maybe blue, we can see our labels here have changed to blue and as well as our heading. Now the final piece on the colors is going to be that input background, which is going to be where they input their information. So let's say I want that to be yellow. And there you have it. All right, next, let's go ahead and save this so that way we know we're good to go. I'm gonna head back into the form designer. Now let's switch over to the second tab, which is styles. And from here, we get to play with the spacing a little bit. We get to choose how wide our form is, and we can either highlight this and type in a specific number, or we can use the up and down arrows, and we can see very slowly my form is shrinking. Next, we get to choose where we want our labels to be. So as of right now, we can see that our label's on top, and this right here is gonna be our label. So the name, the email, it is on top of the input field. But if maybe we want it to save space, we can put it to the left, and all of a sudden, our form shrinks a little bit. So I'm going to leave that right there. We can also change our question spacing. So again, if we want to make it even more shorter, we can do that. So let's go ahead and bring that up a little bit. Perfect, and studies actually show that the shorter your form looks or is even perceived, the more likely they're going to fill it out. So if you can get it short or shrinked, the better. Now we can even change the width of the labels. So this is kind of pulling those labels over to the left. And here we can change our font. If we have a specific brand font, we can find one that's a little close to ours. Let's go big and gaudy. Or we can even use some type of script font as well. Just make sure that it is going to be easy to read for your user. All right, I'm gonna head back on up to Roboto. I think that one is good for me. And then we can also change our font size. We can go up or we can go down again. Next up is going to be our submit button style. So as of right now, you can see it is a green submit button. If I choose style for this button, we have a lot of different options that we can choose from. So we have single colors to faded to different ombre type colors. This one kind of fits my background image, but we can also jump to the next tab, which is image, and we can have it look completely different. So we get to see different options to choose from. Very neat. The next tab is going to be some gradients, which we just saw in that first tab as well. And then we have the flat style. But again, that very first tab is gonna have all of them if you just wanna take a really quick scroll. Now, the last thing on this page is going to be 
the ability to inject custom CCS. So if you know how to utilize this, definitely feel free to play around with this. So just for this example, let's say that I want this up here, this form header, the background of it to be a different color than the rest of my page. I'm gonna paste in some CSS right there and so we can see that it changed the entire background from white to this light blue. Now, something else, if you have a logo that you would like to use, up at the very top, we can see right here, it's kind of hard to see unless you're right over it, it says add your logo. So if you want to do that, you can. I'm gonna go ahead and upload a file. And now we have the Jotformers logo up at the top. We can change that logo size using this slider. We can make it bigger, we can make it smaller, completely up to you. We can even change the alignment left, right, center. But the last thing that I want to mention to you is if you click on that form designer and you go through these different ones at the top, if you scroll down to the very bottom, you can see we have an advanced designer. So if you click on that, it's going to take you to some more advanced opportunities. Now, some of these are going to be the same or similar, but within the advanced designer, we have the advanced CSS editor. So up here in the top, the top right hand corner, we have the ability to choose different spaces on our form. And we can see we have options up here. So let's say for example, let's change this form heading to a different color. So we can see this color right here. Let's change it to purple. And so we can see now that is purple. Let's do it a little bit more noticeable. So now we can see it's almost disappearing. We can change it back to black. So if you have very specific needs, the CSS here, the width, the border button, the text transform, you have that option to really make this fit what you are looking for. So once we're done, we can click on the Jotform icon on the top to take us back. And one last thing, before we publish this, you can always preview your form to see what it's going to look like on different devices. So if I click on preview form in the top right hand corner, we can see what this is going to look like on a desktop, on a tablet, and on a phone. So we can see from doing this preview that I need to go back and I need to make some changes specifically to this one because as of right now, it just says Jotform instead of the logo and Jotformers. And that's a very simple thing that we can fix. We can click here and then we can bring down that logo size. Let's check it one more time. Not perfect, but we are getting there. But it is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to utilize the form designer to make your form fit you and your brand, definitely let us know down below in the comments. If you liked this video and you got some value, hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe and turn on that bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.